Hi all folks, this is Max from AndroLinux.com and GalaxyTabHacks.com. So I finally got hands on a Galaxy Tab and I was putting all this Linux CH rooted on top of all my phones and it was unusable. But today I finally put it on my Galaxy Tab and also I have a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth uh, mouse and I've got everything working pretty good here. Um, let me see if I can give you a close up shot here. While I do something, let's go to Google first. Google.com. Um, the speed is not actually too bad because it's running on top of another, but the resolution is awesome. It's so much clearer now. You get the full resolution, um, although it's you know VNC, but still pretty fast because it's in local local host. Now the only problem I see if I go to a shell. And uh, let me do Control C here. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Oh, I think it's not taking my Control button for some reason. I'll have to work on that. So I'll just open up another shell since that one failed on me. Um, so let me show you. Terminal. The terminal works actually without lag because it's doesn't require that much power uh, but let me give you a close-up of how it's working out for me here it's a pretty decent uh, Linux machine here you can do a top here and it'll show you that there's 740 megabytes and 725 megabytes used um, and XVNC and Firefox is using 227 uh, megabytes and uh, let me see where's the VNC X type VNC server it's not using that much yeah I guess it's the Firefox is really using a lot of energy so I might load do they have Chrome for this um, I think they do have Chromium for Linux or something you know I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go load a faster browser but everything works pretty well I just think Firefox is just this one's also an older version it's slowing things down um, but there's not really there's not really flash here yet I believe they actually have it for ARM ports it's just a matter of getting it um, somehow on here um, but I finally have a device that's kind of like usable because it's got two dual uh, core processors and also you know I've got the mouse now so I don't have to be all trying to do it with my hand you know it's impossible to click with my hand and you can also zoom in and zoom out which is kind of cool um, it's a little bit laggy but something to do with I think the browser and just the memory but you know it's it's pretty cool no for some reason I can't oh there we go no I think the buttons are messed up here Anyway, it's it looks pretty cool. Um, check it out. I'll have more on this as we go along. Check it out at androlinux.com and galaxytabhacks.com. See y'all later. Oh yeah, let's go check out Engadget real quick. See how fast it loads. Hopefully they will post my video on there. <laughs> hey. Yeah, the control button's for some reason not working. The back push button's working though. Um, it's just it's a matter of keyboard layout. Where all the alphabets work. Oops. You get a better Bluetooth keyboard. This one kind of is too small, I think. So let me load up two sites to do a little test of um, the sites. So let me also load up my site here, androlinux.com. Androlinux.com. By the way, the response of, you know, people, oops, no, it's Andro, uh, using, being able to use Linux on top of, um, of Android has been phenomenal on my site by the way 
Um, thank you guys, and you know, I, I'm trying to find more ways to uh, do marriage of Android and Linux. Uh, put more other OS's, but I finally have a tablet, you know, I spent, I, I'm broke now, but anyway, um, this is pretty cool. Compared to Atrix 4G, that, see, that was my original, um, on the G2 and the Nexus, Nexus 1. Um, so here's Samsung Galaxy S, let's do the full screen. It's not that bad. I think with optimization, like take out all the stuff we don't need, uh, it could be a little bit tad faster and usable. Um, but but the important thing is, you know, it might be slow, but the screen is, you know, it makes a full use of the whole screen. It's you know, it's amazing. Anyway, we'll have more stuff. Um, subscribe to Android Linux, and that's. Andro, um, no, Galaxy Tab on, no, sorry, I've had, been working all day. Ubuntu running on top of Galaxy Tab, um, you know, VNC localhost to itself. See y'all later. Thanks. Subscribe.